We are being joined by Rakesh Bharti Mittal, Vice Chairman of Bharti Enterprises. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Rakesh, for, for uh, joining us. Now, this is one of the areas that has been of particular interest to you, what we can do in our schools, basic facilities. What, to your mind, are the biggest trends and weaknesses and the steps that you think we need to take right now? So I think, uh, uh, hi Vikram, uh, first of all, let me compliment Cook. Carry on, Rakesh. Let me compliment Coca-Cola and NDTV for this, in, for this initiative. Echo. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, you know, to my mind, the biggest trends in the Indian education system today, which I see, are two or threefold. I think clearly at the national level and at the state level, huge, uh, large investments are being made uh, in the education sector. And under the Right to Education Act, we are actually ensuring that every child gets educated up to class eight. And I am of the firm belief that once the child has gone through education from class uh, pre-primary to class eight, there is all the possibility for that child to also complete the entire school education. Uh, the infrastructure, uh, the schools, government schools are available in the uh, nook and corner in the hinterland of this uh, country and is being supplemented by the private sector. Uh, so I believe these are, the, these are the strengths which I see. What do we need to do and ensure that we actually have these children in schools? So I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing while, while we talk of the infrastructure, the girl child generally drops out. Uh, because of multifarious reasons, uh, one, of course, is the separate toilet uh, uh, for the girls, which is not there. But to my mind, uh, given their disadvantaged background and the mothers generally tend to hold the girls back for taking care of siblings while they go out for work and, and uh, you know, earn their daily wages. I think to my mind, uh, on one hand, if you are saying that we must have committed teachers, we must have teachers who are accountable for the outcome in class, classrooms. I also believe as parents it is our commitment to our children to ensure that those children go to school every day. Uh, and that is where the Satya Bharti program is, uh, is really engaging with the communities. We actually go and talk to the parents through the parent-teacher meeting. And I'm so impressed and happy to see that today mothers are saying that we, the, the, the money we are saved because we are providing free education, we will take our girls to colleges. Oh, that's great. You know, I have a question uh, for you, Rakesh. Uh, thanks for coming on the show as well. Uh, the government has taken a lot of initiatives to uh, support this cause. Uh, you know, as corporates and such successful corporates, uh, how can you change the education system in the country, especially uh, when CSR is a law uh, in the current scenario? I think, uh, to my mind, under the CSR, the corporate sector needs to put their best foot forward in engaging uh, in the education sector. While I firmly believe that it is the government's role and responsibility and the large resources which the government has, private sector can only supplement the efforts of what the government does. Uh, and to this extent, I would like to share uh, with, with you that the quality support model, which we launched uh, three years ago in Haryana, is today a strong 25 government school engagement across Haryana, Punjab, and Rajasthan. And, and what we have tried to do is, uh, uh, first of all, there is engagement with the teachers, the head of the school, to ensure that we share the best practices which we have learned from running 254 village schools across primary, elementary, and secondary education. Uh, the second is uh, engaging with the students. I mean, for example, you don't see sports activities, you don't see cultural activities, you don't see regular computer classes running in government schools. All those things have been brought back into the school, and we, uh, what I have seen is those very children who were not wanting to come to school are there every, every day. Okay. The, the third point is on the infrastructure. We are engaging with the communities. They are coming forward and supporting the school for infrastructure. Government is uh, releasing money, and wherever there is a, a gap to be bridged, Bharti Foundation uh, puts in little money in sprucing up right. toilets, setting up laboratories, libraries. So I think a quality support model where private sector right. can bring in their deep uh, domain knowledge and, and uh, supervision 
Uh, but also, Vikram, let me also say that, you know, this is a model where the government teachers doesn't feel threatened, and it is a win-win situation for everyone. Right, uh, Rakesh, we've heard the government talking at great length in the last few months about the fact that it's taken a lot of strides to try and say, like, there should be separate uh, toilets for girl children. And we saw the HRD ministry just a short while back saying that they think they've done it in almost every school now. Do you think that government schools are now slightly better off and some of the private schools need a lot more attention or still a lot of work needs to be done in the government schools also? In terms of facilities, not just teaching. I think uh, as far as the facilities are concerned, if I take away the top schools uh, or maybe a tier two private schools in the country, all the private schools across uh, uh, the landscape of this country, including the government school, must have a robust and a very sound infrastructure, be it the classrooms, be it the laboratories, be it the separate toilets for girls. Okay. Because I think those are the big uh, issues for us to retain students back in schools. Okay. Yes, private sector must come out and spend their CSR money in sprucing up the infrastructure wherever it is required. And the private school uh, management must ensure that they provide not only the infrastructure, but also have a continuous uh, uh, engagement in, in maintaining those facilities. All right. I mean, for example, today I am building uh, separate toilets in Ludhiana district. The school management asked me, will you also maintain the toilet? I mean, to me, that is not my job. My job is to construct and walk away. So the management has to take uh, charge of that.